morning. The moon is setting here in South Yorkshire. And I feel like I'm copying Ollie today because I don't feel great. So, um, yeah, maybe he passed it me through the phone or something. I don't know. Um, we got some cattle to take anyway, first thing. I'm supposed to be going to the dentist, but I'm going to cancel that. And, um, yeah, let's get on with today. It's very, very chilly. We're in the minuses. Um, definitely going to get wrapped up today. I'm feeling freezing as well. Um, but, yeah. We've got new Merlot to look at today. We've got cattle going in, cows to feed, cows to bed up. You know the score. Check it out. My dad packed the lorry under the shed this morning, uh, last night, sorry. So we're uh, ready to go. No ice on the windows, which is good. So I'm gonna jump in the Scania now and we'll take these cattle in. Oh, Jesus, it's cold. It's gonna be that fun washing this out later. So I'm gonna leave my dad and Andy well, while I'm passing today, I thought I'd come and have a look and see what Ripon's got in their yard. A nice 6215 here, ultimate edition. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Hydraulic, hydraulic top link and stabilizer arms. Oh. Jesus, it's got a lot. And M's lovely flags that she uh, hates so much. Also, Kramer in yard. We ought to try one of them, eh? No, I've tried one before, I don't really like them. We've got another one here with the light bar on the roof. This 250R is a beast. It's got a um, load of brackets on it. Gee, that's some load of tracks of that, isn't it? Okay. And then we've got all the new ones. Lined up in the front here. Some M's, some R's. Some little M's. Yeah, base. So which did you like best out of them then? The 215 Ultimate Edition with all the LED lights, all the extras and bits and bobs. The 250 with a load of brackets on it, which fair beast. Or maybe something a bit smaller. Like these 6R155. All nice anyway and all a lot of money. Right, we'll jump back in the scan here and get back home, I think. Get some work done. So now I'm back in the yard. Still icy down here. Uh, we'll see what Andy and my dad are up to. Hoping we're going to do some mucking out with that Merlot in a bit. Looks like Andy's still strawing up. Must be getting towards the end now though. So it's time for me to make the coffees. Just one Josiel's cup left at the minute. So we get a Merlot and then JCB ain't wanting to start. Joking me. This is good. So my idea was to pull that at the side of the Merlot, then we could talk about it, but it ain't starting. Merlot being in here, Merlot little fairies being in and um done something. Or is it cold just doing something? I can't remember when battery is on this, we've never touched it before. What a, what a pain. Mm. So I've got in here the 213 mils, either side of the steps. Never ever been in here before. So maybe it is about time, you know, something's happened with the battery. I don't know. Some crap on it. We'll, uh, we'll try to jump leads and, uh, and give that a shot. Jeez, I don't know who has installed this battery. That's not much good, is it? Pure on shocking. So we've got a TM backed up to it now. And we'll just get the jump leads and try and power it off that and see if that makes a difference. So that's what it was. It's working now. Get these off. 
Andy the Sheerbolt King has done another one this morning. So he's just um, just getting that swapped out now. Right now this is up and running. I'm gonna put some straw out. Um, the reason we can't use the Merlot to try this out is because we've not got we've got different brackets basically, different adapters. That's a Merlot headstock and this is a pin and cone so you've got them cones there and yeah it just doesn't it doesn't uh, doesn't fit one another's uh, attachments so right now i've just got the straw trailer on we'll take that up fill it with straw be interesting to know if the little merlot can pick this trailer up because the jcb can't so i've got the first stack of bales on here let's get this filled up there we go job done so in the interest of fairness, I'm gonna try lifting it with this JCB. And to be honest, these must be some light bales because it is lifting it. I didn't get it to lock into position because I might not be able to get it back down, but it is just doing it. And I thought that it wasn't, wasn't capable. But obviously it is with these lighter barley bales. Very slow though, it's like on the edge of what it can do. So the plan is now, I'll just get Andy to park this Merlot at the side of our 9 meter and we'll see the differences. So Andy's just getting it into position now, so then we can... Uh... Come on Andy, come on, come on, come on, come on, bit more, bit more, yeah. So, the Merlot is shorter. It's not as long, not as high. And supposedly the 10 meter version of the Merlot is the same size as, as this one. It's on the same chassis, according to Mr. Bloggs. See from this side, it's considerably higher in the JCB, the roofs a lot higher and the boom on the Merlot sits a lot lower I think on the 10 meter Merlot as well the uh, extensions within the boom so you've not got the the black bit on top that um, sort of impedes your vision a bit on the uh, on the JCB so yeah I don't know if uh, the different size will affect it if it's maybe not as stable as what the JCB is I'm not really sure until you've uh, used it a fair bit so the back of the merlot is like flush and then the back of the jcb sticks out that bit we don't really encounter any problems with that hitting out though do we on jcb it just seems a bit a lot more compact to the merlot that's all you have got this big silly exhaust thing here though yeah, that's, I've not really noticed it, to be honest, from the little bit that I've driven it, but it's a chance of getting it way, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got more merchandise back in stock, and is giving me a hand to carry it to the car. Um, so this will be put on their website tonight. So anything that you've been missing out on, hopefully it will be on the website, but get in there soon because, um, yeah, it's limited. <laughs>
doing a bit of mucking out. My dad's been using the TM rather than the Merlot though. So that's what he likes driving. Right, so Andy says he wants some here, so we'll we'll uh, we'll have a go on the Merlot, I think, and we'll see. It's got a good look on it. We'll see if we can get in there. Quite good visibility all round as well. Sort of clean windows, well for us anyway. Fairly clean. So we'll put pallet tines on, we'll try and get a bit of in. So this is the Merlot headstock. It's like a bar and then there's a little pin at the bottom there, which, well, we'll see how it works. I think the pin's engaged there. So I think we've got to hold this button in here and press the hydraulic. And then when I let go of the button, through all the way now. Yeah, I reckon that's alright. Hello. What are you saying? I have no idea. Love me you love your hat? I do. Well, people can get hold of it because I've got some new merchandise in. So it's actually in stock now. People want a hat. I just need Big Mick across there. Big Mick Appreciation my, Society. My friend nominated me. <laughs> yeah. Good. And he's having a little play on the Merlot some hay out he's got the nine meter with some hay as well so we can get all that done and get some cows vaccinated now well just gonna vaccinate these guys but these ones are eating in the trough are blocking the way well today is turning into a busy day um we're all right once we're inside nice and warm but jesus can't get warm now um, anyway, enough of me moaning about my ailments. Um, I've got to move the mill out because we've got, it's in the back there, uh, we've got three loads, three Arctic loads of barley turning up today, so it's going to be filling the shed up a bit. I think I'm wrapped up enough. Andy's on, flipping the uh, start off. Making sure they stay nice and cool. I'm just really trying to keep warm. Well, Royal Mail's here, so anybody waiting on an international island order, that's for you, the are going now. So what a pain that little mirror is for trying to back up to anything. You can't see the bigger picture of it. Um, they did say though, to be honest, that they needed to fit a bigger one or you can get a camera. So, um, but yeah, that, that, that mirror that is at the back there is absolutely pointless. I do like this step as you're getting out because it comes away from it. So I know you're not supposed to get down this way, but come on. It's quite easy to get out. You're not like it's hunting for the step underneath here. I think that's quite good. Right, I'm gonna get busy Mick to help me out here. Will you let me in with this bale of hay, Mick? Side up path. You can't hear me. Are you deaf? Well. That's let me in pass. Yeah. Are you going to away? Put some petrol in for me. What the hell? Does that know where it garages? Well, well, listen to me. Favour for a favour. What? Favour for a favour. Remember, I'm wearing the emblem. JoeSeals.com. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay. If we've got some petrol, you might have to go and pick up and get some. It's all right. I'll give you some money. I don't want the money. So. Right. We on it? Yeah, let's go. So Mick watched the Charlotte Ashley appreciation video the other day. What did you think? She's the business. <laughs> She's the business. You're laughing your head off, weren't you? Oh, I loved it. Oh, so we're thinking we might even get Mick his own app. What do people reckon? So take the tractor off there, stick it there on the side, and then have mm. Big Mick. That's all that for Andy. That's what? All that for Andy. Yeah, 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 Charlotte Ashley. Business. He's off again, using my tools, using my fuel. It's a good job with mates, isn't it? Not just that neither. When I have my new, when I have my new hat, with big mick on it, yeah. I want yellow wheels. <laughs> so we've got the first load of barley coming in now. Just go and get this weighed in and tipped off. So he's just getting spun round off the weigh bridge and we'll get him backed into the shed. Get this tipped off.
Oh yeah, still. No, no, it's still some him. Get on the way bridge now, so just weigh him off, me and Mick. And he'll be done on his way. So we've got another load of barley turning up this time on a case tractor. So we'll get this weighed in. Yeah, geez, we're gonna be filled with barley soon. We've got a couple of loads coming on this tractor and trailer. Um but I think the lorry's coming again tomorrow or something, so that's not so bad. I'll uh, I'll get this pushed up in a minute. So before he tips it, I'll just um push this arctic load up so that we can actually get it to the back of the shed keep everything a bit tidier we'll see what this merlot can do it's not got a grain pusher on it but well it pushes getting used to it it's like if you use the inching pedal you sort of roll back yeah I need grain pusher on for this I think yeah I'm not using right tool for job am I but it's doing it let's get in there tips out of a tractor and trailer a bit easier a bit more room at the top. So Andy's gonna have a go at picking this trailer up and we'll see how easily or how not easily the Melo can pick it up. Andy's now just so I'll lift it, lift it up, pull your lever. Up a bit. Up a bit. So difficult to see. Come on, come on, I'm doing this. Other way. Right, let's see how it does it. <coughs> Picks it up like a boss. It's not it's not locked in though. No. Let go of your handle. It's just not locking in though. Why is that? It's locked in at this side, but not the other side. Oh well. So this would be genuinely better. Uh, it's seen as a bigger pitch actually works to move a trailer um, but whether it's a uh, whether the newer JCBs have sorted that out I don't know well, this just lifted it up like it was nothing yeah, it's good how the, the switches are laid out quite like that got proper switches not push buttons like um, in the JCB I like nice proper switches Fancy digital display. So, what are you saying? It's time for home. It's time for home. It's time for home for Big Mick. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a look into possibly getting your, your own app. Yeah, I want my own app. Nah, uh, Charlotte, Would anybody else want a big... Charlotte set it off. <laughs> That's what she wants. <laughs> she's, done, she's done a good thing. Would anybody else want a Big Mick hat or am I just getting one? What do you reckon? Do you reckon people want to be a part of the Big Mick fan club? Depends if they give you ticks from ticks. Somewhat. From ticks on your legs. I thought you said something else then. What, dicks? No, ticks. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning with T, not... Anyway. Right. Yeah, I've got to go. I've got my CPC to one of the lorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're doing that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. All right, then. Saturday morning. Dilly dilly. See you then. Okay. Bye. Well, I'm back on old faithful old not that faithful because it's been you know, on get up on me this morning but it's still a beast as the nine meter it's what I'm used to so we're just gonna uh, push this barley up 
with the correct tools for the job. The grain pusher on, the big nine meter. This is how we do it proper. push it all the way to the back but to give the mill its jewels it's, it's not the same machine although you can get a 10 meter one and we've not got the grain pusher for the mill so it's a very unfair comparison Easy work of it. Andy's just enjoying himself up Merlo, cutting back the sheep, rather him than me. And yet another load of barley is here. Wow, um, we're gonna have enough for Christmas, I think. Get us over that. Um, today is, yeah, it's been a, not been a day to feel uh, under the weather because everything's been happening. So, um, yeah, it'd be nice to. Uh, Hopefully have a steady day tomorrow, I don't know. So Andy is just filling the mixer with a Merlot. I think he's enjoying it. That bucket's a bit brutal. I think that's just where it being new and strong and what have you. You like it? It's <laughs> <coughs> getting used to it. You need like a. You tidying up? There we go. All right, I'm going to start feeding out with the TM320S. If you're still watching at this point, remember to press the like button and subscribe because you must like it because you've watched this far um, and it really helps out our channel grow and the algorithm the YouTube stuff and that so be um, yeah brilliant if you could do that for us thank you so yeah Andy's just finishing off doing the pre-mix he's gonna give me an hand then to just do the pens oh, I think that's the plan this little Merlot Andy's just taking the mix down there He's like, look, Joe, look at that sun and the clouds. It's just like a little bit on the horizon. It's bounds over there, look nice. Andy's just putting the veil away for the night. Getting it in the back of the shed. So the flashing light that we saw uh, yesterday, that we were sort of questioning on there below the F, is for the battery isolator. So, um, so we've been told. So Andy's coming in with the last few bits of machinery. Nine meter to go in the shed. Well, then we're done. It's getting full in here. So we had some funny comments yesterday that 12 minutes wasn't long enough for a video. So <laughs> we've gone all out today. I've no idea how long it is. It's probably yeah really long but it's just been it's, lots of stuff's been happening on it yeah. like barley coming in merlot's been here jcb's deciding to go on strike because the merlot's here um so yeah tomorrow em's back from college because she's been at college today uh, andy's here and my dad's not here so we might be able to get drawn up again business uh, if you have liked it then remember to press the like button subscribe if you're not already merchandise will be going on in about I don't know. I don't know how long after this video. Probably, I don't know, 8 o'clock or something tonight. I'm hoping if I can get it all on their website. So then get it if you, while you can. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We're off. It's freezing. We're going inside. Bye.